you are hosting something called Escape the Vape. Tell us what that is. So very simply, um, everybody has heard about what uh, escape rooms are. And what we're doing is giving teenagers, parents, youth in our community a chance to learn about the vaping epidemic in a different way. Sometimes people are afraid to ask questions or don't know how to ask questions. This is an opportunity to get clues, to get educated, and to have fun. The way that you're going about this, uh, you know, doing this interactive um, event, do you think it'll have a bigger impact on, on these uh, people participating? And how did you come up with this idea? So this idea actually came out of a statewide effort. This is uh, something that the Texas Say What program has put together that we were able to adopt. And so when we looked at an opportunity to really educate the community on the vaping epidemic uh, that has is as strong here in El Paso as it is anywhere else in the country, we thought we wanted to present this in a way that everybody could learn but also have fun. It's a different ve uh, venue, a different setting, so that parents and their youth can engage at the same time and really have the opportunity to communicate and learn together. Is vaping a big problem here specifically in our area? Most definitely. Um, in our schools, um, all across the community, we're seeing an increase in the number of youth who are um, getting caught vaping in schools. So we know that this is a problem that we have to tackle. We, weren't, we aren't going to do this in one afternoon. There's no way we can solve a problem. But when you have organizations like the Texas State Department of Health Services locally, American Heart Association, Aliviane, and the YMCA, we chose the Smoke Free Initiative, the Paso del Norte Health Foundation, coming together to really educate the community, we have a greater opportunity to spread awareness and to take care of this problem. Okay, and real quickly, when is this happening? So this is on Saturday, March 7th from 1 to 5 p.m. at the YMCA Fred Loya branch at 2044 Traywood. In addition to um, this escape room, we're also going to be hosting a cigarette butt cleanup at Reese McCord Park about two blocks down from the uh, YMCA. Okay, Annette Torres, Program Manager, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Monica's got one last look at your forecast after the break. Thanks for watching KTSM 9 News at 5.